Anyone? A few people? So this is basically the, the standardization of Jota time, and Spring supports that. Repeatable annotations, has anyone heard of those? No one? Okay, well, we'll briefly talk about that. And um, parameter name discovery, basically left out of every blog um, about the new features in Java 8, but it's something important to Spring, so we'll take a look at that and see why it's important with Spring 4.0. Um, first off, before we get to that, a bit about Groovy. So using Groovy, is anyone using Groovy in their projects? Yep. All right, so you probably have a mixture of Groovy and Java, right? So in Spring 4.0, uh, the landscape changes a bit there. Basically with 4.0, we have a now uh, smooth out-of-the-box experience for Groovy-based Spring applications, so you can actually uh, write your configuration in Groovy. You can even write your entire application in Groovy now. You're not um, limited to um, sometimes having to use Spring, um, sorry, use Java instead of Groovy. And to make that happen, um, some things in the background, we have some adaptations in our aspect-oriented um, support, so ARP support, the special handling of, of Groovy objects, and um, yeah, also Groovy-based uh, bean definitions. We'll take a look at that, but that comes from, from Grails, from the bean builder. Some people might be familiar with this. That's now actually a core element in Spring. One thing I will point out, however, um, in 4.0, we have all the support for for Groovy, for Groovy-based um, bean definitions and configuration, um, but we don't have a dedicated uh, web application context for Groovy. That's coming in 4.1, we'll talk about that later. And we don't have testing support, so a way to use the integration support in the testing framework to load your configuration from Groovy config scripts. And that's going to be coming in 4.1 uh, as well. Just two things we somehow, um, as a team, overlooked. Not really sure how that would happen, but happens to the best of us. So here's an example, writing spring bean definitions instead of with XML or instead of with Java config as we saw with that configuration. Basically, you can use this uh, Groovy DSL, so this domain-specific language looks a lot like XML. It's basically a 